for the second day in a row, Epic is world champion. I'm Larry Joe Starkey with the American Quarter Horse Journal, your first stop for AQHA industry news, and I'm here with the Saigo family who just won Aged Stallions. This is Holly Saigo, Dr. Barbara Saigo, and Roy Saigo, our world champion family, and let's talk about Epic. Now, you know him best because you led him yesterday to the Amateur Age Stallions World Championship. So tell me something fun about him. You know, really the most fun thing about him is that he really is like a gelding. So you can walk in his stall and he just puts his head down and just lets you love on him and rub his face. And he's just a great big pet. So tell me a story about Epic. I'm going to pass the microphone down. Okay. You go first. Okay. Can I tell you a story about Holly? <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah! Hell. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, Holly did not grow up in a horse family. Mm -hmm. She grew up with uh, my old quarter horse, who lived till he was about 29. And uh, riding him, he was not a show horse in any uh, means. But anyway, and thanks to youth programs for riders, 4-H and local saddle clubs, she persisted. She went on. She uh, went to college. Ran. Uh, participated in the Intercollegiate Horse Show Association, distinguished herself there, and on and on. Muck stalls uh, to help pay for some of her college expenses. I'm a world champion stall cleaner. I'm not sure y'all knew that. She's <laughs> very meticulous in case anybody needs to know. But anyway, we're so proud of her because she's sort of the little girl that could. One story in Iowa is when she was about 14 and her horse kind of got sick. <clears throat> and she had to uh, give it mineral oil at like 3 or 4 in the morning. And the oil was so thick that she had to hold it up because it was like 20 below zero. So we knew that Holly had uh, love for horses at that time. Made a lot of friends and she's had a great career. So thank you so much, Quarter Horse Association. All right. What was it like today? watching him show instead of showing him yourself? You know, I almost think it's more nerve-wracking watching him show than showing myself. And Tim did an excellent job with him, and I couldn't have been happier with how the horse showed and how Tim showed him. But you're sitting in the stands, and there's nothing you can do. You can't, you can't, you just have to sit there and just bite your fingernails and wait for the judges to come out. So it was nerve-wracking, to say the least. <laughs> Now, is this Epic's last ride, or will he be back next year? Um, I believe this is his last horse show, but that's what we said last year, so... And here we are again, and you know, here I am with, you know, I've talked about my parents so much. Here I am with my mom who loves horses, my dad who is the very reluctant but very supportive horse show dad. And uh, you know, maybe we'll be back, I don't know. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? I don't have my list, Larry Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't let you make a list beforehand. <laughs> you know, once again, Chris Aronson did a great job preparing him and Tim Finkenbeiner did a just fantastic job showing him. Um, the Woodson family, again, they're like family to me and uh, obviously my parents for being so supportive for my whole horse show career. And her younger brother who came two years in a row to see it, and it was, he's in school again now and he just hates that he's not here with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to the whole family. It was an epic win. We are AQHA champions and we are AQHA proud.